Hold on, just one second. I have to finish writing this code because I'm coding on my cell phone. And guess what? You can do it too. Now I gotta be honest, I don't know why you would need to code on your phone, but hey, maybe you come up with an idea while you're sitting on the toilet and you just need to get this code down. Well, now you can just whip out your phone, code it up, and voila, you have it saved and you can bring it over to your computer later. Or maybe you're just obsessed with your phone and you think it's so cool and you wish you could code on it. Well, you can. And heading right over to the App Store, you're gonna notice Quite a few different things come up when you search the word Python interpreter. That's right, there's a lot of different apps out there. I personally have found one that I think is the best. Now I'm pretty frugal. I don't want to spend money on any of these apps. So if it costs money, I didn't even try it out. But this app that I found is pretty beneficial and I think you might like it. I gotta say though, the ratings on this app don't really agree with me. Most people gave it mm, subpar when it came to rating it with stock. But nonetheless, I want to show you how it works because hey, this is awesome. You're coding on your phone. Now I tried out quite a few things when I was testing this app out. I tried for loops, I tried NumPy, I tried matplotlib, and I even tried my buddy scipy.stats. And guess what? It has the capability to do every single one of those. Pretty amazing. Now there is one downside to this app. <sighs> There's always a downside. This app requires that you pay money to see your matplotlib plots. Let me say that one more time. You have to pay money to see your plots. I knew there had to be something. I knew there had to be something. Like I said, this one's my favorite one so far because of all the other things it does let you do for free. Yes, I know you have to say no to the ad every once in a while, but hey, you want to code in NumPy? You can. You want to code in st using statistics with the SciPy package? You can. And any type of for loops, mathematical functions, whatever you want to toss at it. So next time you have an idea of something and your computer's not handy, well, I recommend you download one of these apps. I'm not suggesting any app in particular. I'm just saying you can use whatever you want. Whatever floats your boat. I'm not sponsored by any of these guys. There's all kinds of apps out there to help you learn Python, but it's nice to see some that actually let you do Python. Because we all know doing is the best way to learn. If you found this video fun and entertaining and helpful, give me a thumbs up and please consider subscribing for more Python video content. I make a lot of videos about Python, tutorials, some other videos, some funny videos, so please check it out, subscribe below. Guess what? It's free so your frugal heart can be happy.